putting a damper on the popular walleye festival in Port Clinton. The festival shut down yesterday because of the weather and it's closed again today while crews get everything cleaned up. That means another day of lost sales for vendors who are looking to rebound from the pandemic. News 5's Jay Jarvis spoke to some of them about the impact and how they plan to forge on. I had made hundreds and hundreds of these tubs for the weekend. And, uh, you know, I show up to the uh, park and I just see hundreds of these floating around everywhere. A very surreal sight. James Allay is the owner of Crack Corn, a premium popcorn without a kernel. No hall, easy to eat. It's a new product. Uh, yeah, it's delicious. He says this is the first year his team has done the event circuit to grow a customer base for their product and thought the walleye festival in Port Clinton would be a great place to start. Alay says they were flooded with business Thursday night, but by Friday, the festival was flooded in a much different way. We lost a lot of products, like hundreds of these tubs. They're floating out there everywhere. Um, we lost our tents, we lost our uh, displays, we lost uh, a lot of our signs. Patricia Pearson, owner of Kids Clothing Boutique The Pink Sheep, drove in from Indiana for the festival and lost a good chunk of inventory too. She took this video showing some of the damage. We're in it about maybe twelve to $1,500, so that's a lot of money to miss out on, especially after not having any shows last year. Saturday, officials closed the park to pump out water. But despite the losses, both Pearson and Alay say they aren't packing up and leaving. We're just going to try and help out everybody else as best as possible because we've been there. I have laid in the rain and cried on the ground many times. <laughs> they plan to rally around their fellow vendors, help them clean up, and hope to close out the rest of the holiday weekend on a good note. So you're going to see images of all of us being out there. Um, cleaning up the mess and hoping hoping to deliver a great festival in time for Memorial Day. Jay Jarvis, News 5.